If you clicked on this video just by viewing the thumbnail alone, then you're here for the right reasons. Many people consider the original Crash Bandicoot trilogy on the PlayStation 1 to be some of the greatest video games that the console has ever released, myself included. And with the highly anticipated Insane trilogy released as of today, I wanted to do a little tribute to everyone's favorite goofball of a marsupial. And I decided to count down the top 5 hardest levels from the first original Crash Bandicoot. Why? Because back 20 years ago, and even to this day, this game has the most difficult and strictest challenge if you ever wanted to beat it 100% with proof. And some of these levels have a great big hindrance onto that. So, hopefully a lot of you will agree with this list, but at any rate, let's take this for the spin. <laughs> you disliked the video, didn't you? <laughs> Native Fortress. Probably not considered a hard level at any rate, but since it's a harder version of an earlier level, and you have more floors and obstacles to kill and hop over, really, with so many enemies, death spikes, fire pits, and plenty more towers to climb, you'll need to have patience with this one. Everything you learned about the game so far will really add to your advantage here, but the main thing is to not let the length of the level put you off. It's not really the longest by any means, but as a finale for the first island of number 3, it's deserving enough to be put on the number 5 spot. <laughs> Cortex Power A tough enough level to get on its own, with heat and freeze powered bolt beams to jump through, unkillable robots to avoid, and precise timing on the platform and against a blinding green goop effect. Oh, did I forget to mention the forks in the paths? Because they're here too. Then later, you have to go back to the level after obtaining the blue gem so you can go through the hidden path and break all the boxes so you can get the gem of this level finally. There's a lot of backtracking with this one. The original Crash games had a tendency to have you go back where you came from to break more boxes while carefully timing your jumps against pitfalls and other hazards. And Cortex Power is no exception. Also, why don't we see more gangster furries after this one? They need to come back, seriously. Sunset Vista. In my opinion, the longest level of the game. Like Native Forest, this level is a harder version of an earlier level called The Lost City. And jeez can it be unforgiving! You already have the platforms that push you off if you're not careful. Those hopping lizards, the bats, the fire, and a whole lot of other hazards strategically placed for you to be smart to overcome. Don't rush this one, seriously. Especially when you're going for the gem. You'll thank me. I mean, it's not a colored gem you're beginning, but even so. Plus, the level also has the goal to put one of the two Cortex bonus levels in here for you to attempt to gain the key that unlocks a hidden level to attempt that once. And only once. But if you fail, eh, you can always play through Sunset Vista again just to have another go at that little bonus level. Ugh. Suck on my fat Womba Fruits game. <laughs> Fumbling in the dark. If you didn't like the precursor version, i.e. lights out, then you're not gonna like this one either. A lot of you might think I might be overreacting by placing Fumbling in the Dark at the penultimate spot, so I'll explain myself as best I can. This level is hard! Even without trying to get the gem, this level relies on perfect timing on your platforming and how to get past all the threats that block your way. Spiders, rats, guillotines, all without losing your only source of protection and light. You might as well put up timer on the corner to say when the building would explode because one mess up and you're dead. 
even near the end because I had to kill an enemy only by spinning and then it breaks an Aku Aku box a few platforms ahead of me, which means I'm more pressed on time when there's so much tension going on already. Oh, and if you do want the gem, don't forget about the half a dozen boxes behind you at the start of the level on tight corners against a bottomless pit. Talk about a challenge. Thankfully, this is a hidden level, so you don't need to beat it in order to progress through the game. But for those desperate enough to get 100%, dude, I will attend your funeral with flowers. And the number one hardest level from the original Crash Bandicoot is... Slippery Climb. Yes, it had to be this one, no matter how obvious the choice was. This level is infamous by many gamers to be a really tough level, and deservingly so. It doesn't matter if you go for the gem or not, the music and the effects alone make this place all so unnerving. So, to get through the level itself, <laughs> picture this, or just whatever, you need to navigate through the usual moving platforms that are going anti-clockwise or whatever, then you need to hop on birds to make it to the next part, spin your way through... To this day, I don't know what those things are, are they like prisoners or something? But their grabby hands are no joke at any rate. Then you need to climb up to the next level with staircases and platforms that will disappear under your feet and can send you down to death spikes in an instant. But then once you get all through that, you're gonna get through more boids, more platforms, more grabby hands, and even these aholes.obg! All this with very little checkpoints and not many bucks to gain you more chances for lives or hit points, Slippery Climb is the ultimate challenge. It really makes you appreciate the complete ball of a Brio bonus lounge. It is that evil. And you have to admit, at least Naughty Dog was appreciative enough not to include the harder version of this level, Stormy Ascent, into the final product. And I don't even want to think about the possibilities of that one. Final statement, if you are watching this video right now and you know the pain of attempting to finish this level with your sanity in check and you even got the red gem as proof, I'll, I'll love you. Just forever. You don't need to ask twice. You're the best. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Be sure to comment in if you agree with this list or if there was another level from this game that really got under your skin. I really want to know if there's anything else. And be sure to subscribe to this channel because trust me, Dejavale has got more great content for you for the coming weeks. Take care guys.